Man, how y'all doing today, man? It's your boy, General G, recruiting, back with another week of my Minoxidil beer journey. Shout out to all my new subscribers, man. Hopefully these videos help get y'all motivated to start your own Minoxidil beer journey or continue on the Minoxidil beer journey that you started. And I also want to give a big shout out to all the OG subscribers, man. The guys that been with me since before I even had a beard, I really appreciate it. So, man, this week, Let's talk about being consistent. Um, as you can see, my beard, I feel like it's, it <clears throat> it's grown back to where it was before I did my trim on Super Bowl day, which I think was like in February. Kind of seemed like it's been taking a little long, but actually when I actually count back the weeks, um, I'm actually pretty happy with my growth. Um, one thing I can say is I still, I'm starting to see weaknesses, man. Um, I don't know if it's that I'm shedding some or if I've always had these weaknesses. Um, I, I, for some reason, I see the weaknesses the more I grow my beard, um, which is weird. And then like when I cut it short, it seems like I don't have any weaknesses. And um, like I said, I've been on this Minoxidil for like a year and a half and my beard still isn't 100% where I want it to be. So for any of y'all that's just starting on Minoxidil or on like month two, month three, month four, and you're seeing, and it seems that you're a slow gainer, it seems that your transitional hairs won't go terminal, man, just keep using it, man. I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for a year and a half, and I still have transitional hairs on some of my weak points, and I don't know when they're gonna slough off and go to terminal, but I'm consistent. You never wanna get frustrated and then quit Minoxidil because of that, because at the end of the day, the time is gonna pass whether you use Minoxidil or not. You don't wanna quit and then a year from then or two years from then you're looking back thinking, man, I, I wonder what my beard would look like if I just kept on a Minoxidil. You don't wanna have none of those doubts. So even if you're frustrated, keep on using it. Eventually, things will happen. And if you see transitional hairs and veilless hairs, that just lets you know that the product is working. It's just gonna take a little time for those hairs to get replaced by your terminal hairs. And like I said, I still have areas, my weak areas, to where I see transitional hairs. And it's been like that for a while, but I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Also, I wanna talk about this coronavirus that's messing up a lot of people's money. All these sporting events are getting canceled. Um, a lot of theme parks, people having to stay home from work, people buying up all the toilet tissue, hand sanitizer, soap, whatever. All I gotta say is, yeah, washing your hands will help, using hand sanitizer will help, wearing those masks probably will help. But in my opinion, I think eventually everybody's gonna get exposed to this virus. And I don't care how much you wash your hands, if your immune system is not tip top, then you can have problems with this virus. So instead of investing all your money on toilet paper, y'all need to be investing your money on foods that's going to be beneficial to your body to help keep your immune system intact. And these are going to be your fresh fruits and vegetables, your whole grains, your legumes, which are your beans and lentils, and your nuts and seeds. You want to do eat as many of those plant-based products as possible. Plants, not only do they have fiber, which acts as a prebiotic, for your beneficial bacteria in your gut providing the food. Um, the health of your gut determines like 80% of your immunity. It also, those foods also provide an abundance of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytochemicals or phytonutrients, which are plant um, chemicals that the plants make um, when they're growing as they use it as a defense mechanism to ward off viruses, pests, and things like that or they produce them when they're under stress. When we eat them, um, they provide antioxidant um, properties, anti-cancer properties that help um, pretty much ward off all chronic diseases. Also make sure that you're exercising. And like I say, you just wanna do things that keep your body in tip top shape. So limit your intake of alcohol, especially if you're overdoing it. Don't smoke, stay away from the processed and refined foods and just be aware, man. I don't, like I say, I don't care how much you wash your hands and all that stuff. If your immune system isn't tip top, you're eventually gonna get exposed to it and that coronavirus is gonna expose you. So before we get things wrapped up in this video, let me get y'all a close up of my beard. 
All right, and as you can see, man, this is my weak area. I don't, I don't know what what's going on right here, but I'm really focusing on putting minoxidil. Like I say, even though it's weak right here, I do see transitional hair, so I may be shedding right there. All right, here's my mustache. Here's under the neck. Never had any problems right there. And here's this side. So this side, I don't have that much of a weakness compared to this side. But yeah, that's this video. Like I said, man, stay safe, build up your immune system, man, and I'll see y'all next week.